Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to talk about the radio I run, which is a Futaba 10PX. And we're going to talk about Castle Software. So the first thing I want you guys to know about 10PX is there's a couple things that um, like people know is antenna. I've never had to run a, a range booster on mine. Not ever. I run next to power lines and never had an issue. I want to show a couple people a couple settings in here that you might not be aware of that you can run is in the racing menu you can go into speed throttle speed and then you can set up these positions here which we've been doing in the, the you know I've been doing it for years on this radio but in the 7px but we do it in the drag world too now if you watch what happens down here at the bottom when you hit the throttle look at the throttle how it goes up that curve nice and slow so yeah it's it's basically just going to slow down you from pulling too much voltage out of the out of the radio at one time or out of the batteries at one time it's not a perfect pass it's not slow enough to to do anything like that but that's one of the things i do to reduce the voltage because uh, i like to run the perfect pass but i i don't in a single motor only in a dual motor or a high power application do i run a perfect pass launch control that is okay so going to the castle setup throttle curve i don't run anything basic no cutoff reverse six volts i run 40 percent brake and that's pretty much it uh let's see here Power, start power low, 100%, reverse, 50%. I'm actually going to change that to 40% because I don't need that much reverse. Maybe even lower than that. Advanced, don't uh, do anything with that. Motor, motor normal direction because the Futaba runs in reverse. Smart Sense, I run 20% uh, 20 degrees of timing. Why? Because it gives you more RPMs. That's why. Uh, motor cut cutoff is disabled temperature and then logging I check everything except for motor wire and BEC voltage I don't care I also change it to 10 uh, samples a second and that's pretty much all I do to it guys I mean that's pretty basic there's not much to do there um, the biggest thing is is getting that voltage cutoff turned off and keeping that there now some people will tell you you're running a DEC on these takes a little bit of power away from the motor because you're controlling the servo. So if you run a separate battery for that, it's a trade-off for weight. So up to you guys how you want to do it. But uh, I run 2.12 software on everything or the latest software and everything. So um, that's it for today's video. Nice and short and sweet. If you guys have any questions, hit the link below. Or leave your comments below. Thanks for watching.